Hey, Shalom. First first off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakhakarash. That's all praises who the world calls God. His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem in the name Yahweh Shai, in the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the Overlake, preaching, word, and truth and sincerity. On the brother Taza Bond, the Great Millstone, Arizona Camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And, uh, you know, this is a video from China. And this is their new airdropped uh, military dog. And you can see he got a whole machine gun on the back. So, uh, you know, this is what war is going to be like. And don't get it twisted. If these devils over there in China got it, these, these these crackers over here, these Edomites over here in America and abroad have the same things and possibly even better. Right? What pity, what pity and what grace? What second, what second command are you going to get from a robot? You're going to get one command if you walk, if it says walk right, and you fucking take a hesitation, it looks like you're going to walk left, bop, clap, you clapped, that's it. But this is World War Three. this is how this thing's going to play out. Remember the scriptures tell you, right, that the garment, the, the battle was as garments rolled of blood with confused noise, but this shall be with burning the fuel of fire. This is part of that burning the fuel of fire. funny thing about it too they never really show exactly how fast these things can go okay so this motherfucker can hit 25 miles per hour you through where you where you gonna run where you gonna hide man that's why ezra right that's why ezra said and i'll put that video in the description ezra said it right here uh second ezra 16 and, and 17 is it woe is me Woe was me, who will deliver me in those days? Right? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famines and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, and the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? You see? What are you gonna do when 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 these militaries start using all these weapons? The Lord said he has he's gonna open his armor. Right, King David said, uh Let me get it. This is um Yeah, this is Psalms eighteen and seventeen. It says he delivered me from the strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Right? Remember the King David said what it was bow still was broken in his arms. That he killed his then tens of thousands. So if David killed his tens of thousands, a bow still was broken in his arms. Right? And there's a, a <laughs> and there are enemies that are too strong for him that the Lord has to deliver him from. What do you think is going to be like in these days? Right? Because all, all this stuff that's being cooked up, this is this is for the people, man. Right? says future invasions are going to look like this. Tiny Chess is their airdropped armed robot dog. What can you do against that, man? It's Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 16. It says, um, I'll start at uh, 14. And it says, and it shall be as a chase roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people 
and flee everyone to, into his own land. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined uh, unto them shall fall by the sword. Right? So if you're sitting there joining yourself unto these devils, then you're going to fall into the sword, because that's what's coming for these devils. It says, Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. How are your children going to get dashed to pieces before your eyes? Right? Because you got these robo dogs. Don't show up at your daycare. These robo dogs is gonna show up and wreck ship. It says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard their silver, and as for their and as for their gold, they shall not delight in it. Right? And who are the Medes? Go into the history, man. Learn these things. Now it's not only gonna be the Medes, you got Moab, you got you got uh you got the Russians or it's Gog and Magog, you got the Persians, which are the Iranians. Right? Their bowls shall also dash their young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. And is a robot going to spare children? Right? Imagine how many bullets from that, from, from, from that machine gun on the back of that robot guy is going to take to dash your children to pieces, man. That, that fire is going to rip people to shreds. Right? Isaiah 65. And 12. It says, um, start at 11. It says, But ye are they that have for, that, that forsake Yahweh, that forget the, my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish a, a drink offering unto that number. Jake, Jake fully sit here and goes into everything in America. They sit here and get down with Esau. Niggas are saying, still talking about voting. You sit here and trust in this place. Hey, you're, you're making it easy for Esau to come in. Verse 12, it says, Therefore I will number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. And this is Jake right now, man. Why do you think the Lord is opening up his armory like this? This isn't for only for military people. This is going to be for the brass tax normal person. There's a video that came out. Let me see if I can find it. I saw it earlier today. Here it is. Terrifying moment. Ukraine chick catches a Russian uh, missile hit across the street. While walking during a live stream. Why is people like this? Why is she live streaming? Why does she look like she's dressed casually. Earphones on. Like there ain't nothing to sit here and have your fucking mindset towards. To keep an eye out for. People don't take this time serious. Right? Peep this man. <laughs> Careless. Look how she dressed. That ain't dressed like you got some shit to worry about. You people don't take this time serious, and that's a damn problem. That's why the Lord said, Therefore, verse 12 again, Therefore I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I call, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not, you did not uh, hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose wherein that I died. Where that wherein I delight not niggas is still love and love and love wickedness, man. It don't stop. It's getting worse every day, man. It's getting worse daily. More and more bullshit is coming out where you see it and it's getting worse daily. So the Lord said you're going to bow down to the slaughter. You see? But the Lord's servants are going to eat. But but judgment is coming for the bad stacks everyday person, man. This is um Isaiah 42. You know what, let me get this Matthew 
24 to let you know that the New Testament spoke of these things, these things too. Matthew 24 and 6. Uh, I started for you. I shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name. I, I got to start at 3. It says, And as he sat upon the mountain of us, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. Now I'm going to jump down to verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and, and, and pestilences and earthquakes and diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. You see? The wars, the famines, the pestilences, all these things that have been cooked up are, are showing you the times that we're coming in. So you know that the Lord is with this. This is the Lord's war. That's the Lord's armed robot dog. Right? You're going to have an angel that's, that's going to sit, sit there with that robot dog saying, mowing niggas down, man. Isaiah 42 and, and 14. It says, I have a long time. Uh, I'll, start, I'll start up uh, 13. It says, Yahweh shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yeah, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. And two-thirds of you niggas are enemies of the Lord. A lot of niggas out here in the word, world are enemies of the Lord. Some of you Israelites are enemies to the Lord. Right? And the Lord is going to prevail against you. It says, I have a long time holding my peace. I have been still. And refrain myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. What do you think all these military equipment. With all these autonomous robots is going to be. That's that destroying and devouring at once. No pity is going to be had. See a man of war. He might have a spirit to be like. Ah, ah, you know try to give you a chance. It ain't, them, that, that technology ain't going to give you a chance. It's how I, I will make mountains waste and hill. That says I will make waste mountains and hills. And dry up all their herbs. And I will make rivers, islands, and I will dry up all their pools. All that's going into drought, which is happening right now. Surprisingly enough, there's a drought going on in the north in the northeast. Right? A drought going on in the northeast. You see? This is what the Lord's preparing, man. It's Isaiah 28 and 18. So 17 it says judgment also will I lay to the lion and righteousness to the plummet and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the water shall overflow the hi the hiding places this is for you niggas that sat here and made your covenant with death niggas consistently sitting there and think that if they sell out to this devil that they're going to sit here and have some type of acclaim some type of good estate right Niggas really believe that if they got that juicy juice when it came out, they were going to be good and they were going to be able to go here and there. Did that happen? No. All that happened was a bunch of, uh, of shaking ass niggas after they got the juicy juice uh, uh, shot into their arm. It says, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled and your agreement with hell shall, shall not stand when the overflowing scourge. What is a scourge, right? You go to the blue letter. That word there for scourge is this. It says a uh, sharat. Sharat. And it means what? Scourge, whip. Scourge for chastisement. A nat of national judgment. Figurative whip for horses. So that scourge. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to scourge you niggas, man. Right? That overflowing scourge. That overflowing whipping that the Lord is going to come. Shall pass through. Then shall shall then ye shall be trodden down by it. You see this that that whole military dog, all this military equipment, these missiles that are being shot off. This part of that scourge is coming, man. This is part of what the Lord is setting up. It's Isaiah Second uh, Ezra sixteen and nineteen. Right, get back into it and close it out there. Second Ezra sixteen and nineteen. It says. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges, right? Whips for a mimic, right? That demon dog, right? That, 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 uh, those military autonomous robots that they're going to use armed with all type of artillery. 
that's that's set up for a whooping to uh you know set the record uh even but for all these things they shall not uh turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges right so even though you're gonna get beat what you're still not gonna sit here and take heed and that's why niggas are just gonna get put to death this is that time right so lord willing this edifying hey this is what we got to look forward to call all y'all bushing y'all shy for these things starting to get you know more and more relevant relevant in the world because it's 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 i'm tired of this shit man i'm tired of being here I'm tired of dealing with the bullshit that's here i'm tired of dealing with niggas that are here I'm tired of sitting here and sitting uh seeing nothing but wickedness all day no peace the lord said it himself there's no peace to the wicked shalom